Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. It is going to be a really exciting day today because we have a TerraFlex two and a half inch lift kit that's going to be installed on the Jeep today. Now, UPS delivered my tires and rims a few days ago. I have them mounted right now, except they didn't give me my fifth tire. So I have the extra box, the wheel right here. It's a pro comp. I will show you guys that later on in the vlog when we put the tires on the Jeep when it's lifted because unfortunately they will not fit. Cannot clear a 35 on those. I already tried, it didn't work. So we're gonna take the Corvette, we're gonna move it out here. We're gonna get the Jeep inside and we're gonna get some dimensions of what the lift is before and after. Well, boys, this isn't a good sign. Usually when you unlock the car, it will unlock, but like the lights will flicker and I've got nothing. So it tells me that the battery is dead once again because the Corvette battery is literally always dead. But in the meantime, we have to get that charged because while the Jeep is getting the lift kit installed, I got a box from Bet Lights, my friends over there, and I have a replacement fog light, or fog lights I should say. Let's see if we can get one open. I'm not sure if this is upside down or not, but we got replacement fog lights because the one on my car is broken. So here's the side that isn't broken, and clearly this probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, guys, we're going to go to the back shop. We're going to get a few dimensions for the Jeep and see what it sits at right now height wise and what it is after the lift. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, guys, for the amount of space that the Jeep looks like it probably doesn't have, it's really not all that bad. All right, guys, so this is about the most level ground I think I'm gonna find here. So I'm thinking I'll just put the tape right here in the middle. And that to me looks like it is 35 and an eighth, maybe? I'm just gonna go down to like right here on this body line there. So I'm just gonna say 35 and an eighth for the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk to the back. Kind of get it there right in the center and we will call that 35 and 7 eighths, give or take. All right, boys, we are on our way to Rick's right now. I am like really pumped for this lift kit because I feel like the Jeeps are cool stock, but they definitely don't sit up high enough and the tires are like way too small. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of math on the screen with the dimensions that we had before and what they should be after. So like I was saying, it is a TerraFlex two and a half inch lift. In my mind, I'm thinking you just add two and a half inches to it, like that makes sense. But I've been reading on the forums that a lot of the time people actually get a little bit more lift out of it. So I've heard of people getting a total of three inches more, which is only a half an inch, but I figure when you put on the bumpers and everything else, it's going to want to sag the suspension with the extra weight. So hopefully I do get closer to that three inch mark instead of two and a half, but we'll see. And I can't wait to see what the final numbers are. We are getting ready to pull into Rick's house right now. I'm really hoping he's home because I haven't told him I was coming over yet. Uh, I see his truck, he should be here, I hope. Not really sure where to park. So Rick has a collection of like more cars than I think anybody ever should. He's got like 15 of those Trans Ams. We got an SRT4 here and a bunch of stuff that he is working on. You didn't hear me pull in, did you? No. <laughs> You're telling me you didn't hear the cam? No. Dude, this thing is super quiet. We need to do something about it, like for real. <laughs> All right, boys, so I am standing right in front of the Jeep. Unfortunately, my GoPro battery died the other day and the weather was kind of crappy, so I didn't decide to film it. Here we are, guys, the new Jeep on 35s, two and a half inch lift kit. It looks really freaking good. I went with the Pro Comp MT2s, 35 inch tires with the Pro Comp 252 street lock wheels. They look like a beadlock, but it's not a real true beadlock. It's pretty cool because now you can actually use these little side steps because before it really didn't serve much purpose because the Jeep was so low. The final dimensions were right around 40 inches in both the front and the back. So it's significantly bigger than what I had originally thought. I'm not sure what the actual dimensions were earlier in the video. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new ones up right now so you can see how much bigger they are. Leave a comment down below what you think. Um, I'm really pumped for the build. We do have a couple more things going on, but if you guys did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.